So the second pile seems like there is a little bit of a an emotional reaction to a relationship that you may have. It could be linked to other stuff, but I'm mainly getting it for a relationship. You have the five of hearts for the playing card linking to the five of cups. And it seems like there is a little bit of impatience. So the back left is the present card, which is the three of wands, followed by the obstacle card, which is the nine of cups. And the three of wands is where the impatience could be coming from, where you're investing in something and waiting for the investment to pay off. Same thing with the mistletoe card and linking to the seal card. So the mistletoe at the bottom left is talking about having the bird in the card eating the berries. Now the berries aren't part of the plant that you're necessarily looking for. In fact, it's toxic to many living things and well to an extent and um the bird in the picture is one that can take the gooey berries and wipe their beak off and then distribute the seeds from the berries throughout the land so it seems like there could be that type of growth there where you're ingesting something that isn't necessarily good for you or you're processing something that you didn't really want to hear. Um, and it doesn't have to be something so significant. Um, coming from the Five of Cups, it doesn't seem like it's honestly that big of a deal. But the way that it's coming out, the way that things are panning out, maybe it has been one of those periods where things haven't, not have gone your way sorry for the double negative but things are at a, a place where there could be irritation that arises from it because it's it could be slower or things are taking long to pan out or longer than what you would want but in the grand scheme of things the more you wait for it the more it can grow and be able to be uh, healthy if you're thinking about a plant and watching it blossom to its fullest potential. And same thing that could go into relationships too. So the third card from the back is the moon card. And the moon card is embracing your emotions and accepting what is and then being able to move forward confidently and understanding. So with the past card, it's interesting because you actually have the King of Swords there and the King of Swords with the element of air and fire. So being able to react with the mental clarity that you'll have and the understanding of the situation. So the situation that comes from this isn't one where it's, irrational it's not one that just comes out of nowhere or I don't feel like this situation comes from a place of um it comes from a place of like hurting somebody intentionally I feel like it comes from a place of this is the way that the process is and in order to get through and pass that process or get to the result of it or as close as you can get it at this point um, you're going to have to go through some things that aren't the most comfortable of situations. So uh, with the King of Swords being able to bounce back from that and um, the future cards, you actually have two cards and it's the front left with the Apple Branch and the Knight of Swords. So that's interesting. You're getting from the king of swords to the knight of swords just different aspects of yourself so there could be a level of wanting to react to something that you're in disagreement with and with the apple branch it's kind of trying to counteract that and saying that 
um, maybe you're getting this from other people or if you're believing in guides or some type of higher source um, that there's a purpose for this and that you'll be able to get past this as long as you're not like a a jerk about it and try to go off the deep end and react to what your heart is telling you or how how you're um emotionally invested in in it so it's about reacting properly in times where things may not go your way exactly at that moment but it'll pay off because with the king of swords in the beginning you could have been reacting that way because you knew what you were getting into but then you're lowering yourself to the knight of swords because of that irritation and then the world card is the overall energy for this reading so having like a worldly perspective on it and seeing the other avenues or the other things that play along with this situation and with the seal too going with the five of cups it seems like it's a very emotionally invested reading because the nine of um the five of cups and the seal it seems like the seal is one that goes deep into the cold waters and um you know they have their their thick skin that they have and it's made so that they can live in those conditions um so being able to have a thick skin but also um having those deep rooted emotions when they cry it seems like they're in agony so maybe expressing those things and being able to accept it but um processing it in a way where it's not going to affect the end result that you're looking for so that was the second pile and i'm going to move on to the third pile